Hello and welcome to Azariah's studio. My name is Sarah. I am the artist and designer behind Azariah's studio. I'm going to show you how to work the back loop cast on. A lot of people think you shouldn't use this cast on because it's sloppy. And I'll talk about that a little bit more as we go along. You'll just need one needle, ball of yarn, you don't need to measure out a tail, which is my favorite part, and start with a slip knot on your one needle. All right, slip knot, I don't count as one of the stitches. Tension your yarn however you normally do. You twist the yarn around this way so that the needle can come up behind and the new loop can be set on it. Probably feels a little bit like long tail without the other tail. I know some people can do it off of their thumb as well. I'm not nearly as fast off my thumb as I am off of my finger. Keep them fairly close together. Do not yank this end really tight. That will make your cast on very tight. I just use this finger here to hold them in place, but don't, don't create space. That's where the sloppiness comes in. Because then when you're working your knit back row, you're going to have all this extra yarn hanging and it's not going to look good. So make sure you don't create space. Settle them on next to each other. I've used this cast on for hats, sweaters, socks, mitts, blankets. I like it because it's got a lot of give. It looks good on the bottom. It's a finished enough edge that you can live with it. It's not as pretty as some cast on edges are. Some of the pieces I work though require me to cast on <laughs> almost 500 stitches and I don't want to sit and do long tail and guess and try and figure that out and make sure to, just to come up short. So I use this method. If you practice with it, it can become your go-to and it not be the sloppy. Other uses for the backwards loop cast on are if you're working uh, certain types of sweaters or even for mitts or mittens, gloves, like at the thumb area, some of those things tell you that you need to stop like in the middle of the row or the round and now cast on three or four more stitches or just two. And this is a good way to do that. You just, wherever you're at, pick up your yarn, make a couple loops, and then you can just keep going. It's not a big deal. You can do that in a round or when working flat. And that is the backwards loop cast on. Thank you for watching. Happy making.